Hey everyone, welcome back to Geek Song. In today's video, it is episode 2 of the Star Wars HasLab Sail Barge. So we're going to let Han Solo do the intro on this one. So Han, what do you say to everyone? You tell that slimy piece of worm-ridden filth. Let's do this. Right? Han, that wasn't very nice. Everyone, please excuse Han. He doesn't always have the best manners. All right, here we go. I'm super excited about this episode two video that I'm making here. Finally get to take a look at this sail barge up close and personal. Get to open up the panels. I get to play with this thing for the first time. Yeah, this thing is so cool. So before we open it up, we're going to check out the outside of the ship. We'll check out underneath the ship. We'll take a closer look at it, so. Hold on to your butts. First, let's talk about the paint. And I gotta say, I think they did a great job. I love the weathering. It's not too much. I think it's just perfect. The rails look awesome. Great detail. Great weathering on it. I love how some of the, the rails have been broken. Looks pretty cool. It de definitely shows some age to it. The sails look fantastic. I think this is one of the best parts of this thing. Looks fantastic. I love the color. I love the detail in it. It just doesn't look like fabric. It looks like it has some structure to it. The back of the ship looks really good. Look at underneath the sails. Look at all the detail there. That looks fantastic. Oh, that's amazing. The guns look really good. Man, this thing is mind-blowing. This thing is so cool. One of my favorite things about this sail barge is the speakers. For some reason, I love these speakers. The heavy cannon's cool. It does rotate, but it doesn't go up and down. At least for me, it doesn't. So I took off the sail so we can take a better look at the top of the ship. Check out the weathering. Look at the grates. I mean, there's actually holes in those grates that you can see through into the barge, which is really cool great paintwork looks really good hey wait a minute i didn't know that one opened so check this out i actually had no idea this did this so there's a button right here so you push this button no way that is so cool so there's a couple of more hatches that open to lead inside the barge which is pretty cool and there's ladders leading right down. Look at that. That's awesome. Great detail, too. And here is another one. So this slides back. That great. And you can go right down that ladder. That's pretty cool. Here's the heavy cannon. It does swivel back and forth. It doesn't go up or down, but it does swivel. So Leia can point it at the deck. I guess the one problem with the cannon is because it doesn't go up or down, you can't really aim and hit the deck. It kind of will shoot a rail maybe, but it still looks good. The grates look awesome. I love it that you can see through them and those two little gargoyle heads. That's cool detail. That gold piece, that must be the item Leia shoots to blow up the sail barge. Yeah, this thing is insane. Not quite sure what those two pieces are, but they do look pretty cool. Then we have some tubing and piping, and there's another gargoyle head. Probably a rancor head. That looks awesome. But the amount of detail, I mean, every time I look at it, I find something new. I mean, already just doing this voiceover, I already found the trap door and the item. I'll show you in one second. Check this out. So another cool feature that I'm realizing as I'm doing this video is this actually moves off so you slide this forward this part of the rail so you can have r2 and 3po when they fall off the deck Aren't you ready to be very impossible, Joe? Ah! now that's attention to detail even under the sail barge looks amazing a lot of great detail not a whole lot of weathering but it looks amazing 
I'm sure this is probably the only time I'm ever going to see this because if I put it on a shelf, you're not going to see this. And this thing does weigh a little bit. It's kind of heavy. And there we have the engine details there that I just installed. Now let's check out inside the barge and I'm pretty excited about this. Let's take off the panels, but let's take a look at the panels first. And yeah, even those windows open or blinds or shutters, what are those called? Shutters probably, right? And look at the head of that creature. I know I've seen that head before. I think they made a figure of that guy, didn't they? But yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, not a lot of paintwork on the backside, but looks amazing. And there are a ton of these shutters that open up. Unfortunately, they don't open up a whole lot, so you can't really stick a figure hanging out. At least I don't want to pull on it too much because I'm afraid that I'll break it. But looks good. No paintwork, but looks great. Okay, here we go. This is Jabba the Hutt's bed. It slides back and forth. Is it his bed? What place where he lays? You know what I mean. And it comes with that microphone there. That's where he speaks out to everyone. Pretty cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't come off. It's just there. At least I don't know. Let me give it a shot. All right, doing the voiceover again. I'm like, this thing looks like it comes off. It comes up, and look at it does. That is crazy cool. Look at that. So Jabba can speak on it. <laughs> that is cool. I love it. Yeah. When I first tried to pull on it, it seemed like it was it was fixed, but no, it comes out and he can use it. Well, I'm sure it doesn't work, doesn't take batteries, but that is cool. He can hold it. Oh, that's awesome. So here's a quick peek. And he does hold it. He's holding the wire. I didn't want to force it too much on his hand. But yeah, looks awesome. I thought the outside of the ship had detail. But man, this inside is incredible. Look at that. I'm just going to be in like awe this whole video. But yeah, it looks like there is like a rancor there. Is that like a statue of a rancor? That is pretty cool. Love it. Yeah, look at that. That is sick. Look at these panels here. Great detail. I love the arm. Those arms are super cool. This is a pretty cool area. I think you could use it for a dance floor or set up some tables. I wonder if Max Rebo would fit there. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out is let's give it a shot. And look at that. What? It fits perfect right in there. It's like it was meant for it. Let's put Max in there. Oh, yeah. Max is definitely going to hang out in here. I might rearrange it a little bit so we can put some people in the boots. I wonder if you can put, like, the band. Is, it, is that where the band's supposed to be? You know, my wife said that looks like where the band goes. So maybe you put the band here, and then you put some drinks on the table. You have some people standing in the walkway there yeah that is so cool man i can't believe that fits in there perfect so maybe it was designed for max the back shutters do open which i'm really surprised i did not expect that look at over here we have a self-portrait of jabba the hut and look at that head of the Gamorrean Guard. That's cool. Here's the roof of the barge. You can see how that looks. Pretty cool. Look at the hardwood floors. Great detail. I mean, when you look close at this stuff, the weathering, the detail, it's just incredible. I mean... This is so much better than I was expecting. Looks like we have a few more shutters that open, and I think I see a double shutter there. Is that where the weak way popped out of? Try to shoot at Luke. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't seem to open it much more than that. I wish it would open more so I can have the weak way popped out, hanging out, getting ready to shoot at Luke, but I think that's it. 
here we have the center of the ship and man the detail in the coloring is amazing i know i've been saying that through this whole video but it's just wow look at that cell door i love the weathering on it, it looks amazing look at the stairs look at the railings they have an arm for decoration on the railing that is crazy cool i mean they didn't have to go this far but they did and i love it it looks great we do have stairs leading up to the top and we do remember this part this part was in the movie i think somebody popped out and was going after luke and that slides open doors open and we can come right down hello yep that looks pretty cool we have a weapons rack in the back we have a gamorian guard axe Underneath the axe is a table also. That's pretty cool. You have some extra areas in here where you can stick some weapons and some staffs. Check this out. So there's a hole in the floor there so you can put some long staffs there. And then you can hang some on the wall. That's awesome. That table in the back is super cool. The stairs leading up. I mean, the, the material is really good. It definitely doesn't feel flimsy. It's nice and sturdy great for those Gamorrean guards they're a little bit heavy but i'm not sure if they would fit through this opening here but maybe they would yeah i don't know there's there's a lot of room there he might squeeze through but yeah pretty cool and i love both of the stairs lead to the top of the deck and check this out there is a secret compartment under here so you can store more weapons accessories whatever you need maybe even a monkey lizard will squeeze in there too but yeah that's pretty cool love it actually didn't even notice this at first my wife pointed it out to me yeah and she enjoyed checking this thing out because th she was actually really surprised how cool this was all right let's get the cell door out of the way and let's check out the kitchen and yeah what can i say man this thing is really cool i love the frog creatures in the back whatever you want to call them wasn't that from like episode one when jaja just grabbed it with his tongue and took it from that vendor ah, my, my. that's pretty cool we have a sink there another grate at the bottom just in case you spill something you can squeeze it down there yeah this thing is pretty cool and check this out put a light in there so we can see a little bit better but yeah so the little nozzle there is it's uh soft plastic so you can move it around a little bit pretty cool all right let's take off this panel and this panel has some great weathering on it decent weathering on the back side too i'm actually kind of surprised but there it is the jail cell that looks amazing i mean that is super cool it slides back and forth the door doesn't open though, which is surprising, I guess, but looks pretty cool. Does it open? Let me give it a shot. I'll be right back. Nope, it does not open. But before we check out the jail cell, let's check out the cockpit. This is pretty cool. Let's remove this panel. And bam, look at that. We have two cool chairs, looks great. And I love the the bright green panels. That just pops. So much detail in this. This is incredible. I mean, like I said, I haven't really watched many videos on the sail barge. And if I have, it has been many years since I've seen it. But this is all surprising to me. I mean, look at all the knobs, the colors, the detail. Just incredible. Put two guys in there comfortably. Incredible. Look at that. Great detail on the chairs. Look at that. Amazing. I think that's going to be the title of this video. Amazing. Look at that. That is so cool. I'm just trying to get all the camera angles that I possibly can so you can see every piece of this thing. This thing is crazy cool. All right, here we go. Here is the jail cell. 
with a skeleton of a hammerhead. I always know him as hammerhead, and that's the name I'm going to use today, but check that guy out. That is cool. Oh, I love it. Great detail. Look at the cell. Looks pretty cool. That poor guy. What did he do, I wonder? Look at that. And what's cool about it is he's actually like a figure. Look at that. He's like movable. It's like an action figure, kind of. So as I showed before, there is that trap door. And you hit that lever here. Right here. And... So somebody will fall in the jail cell. That's pretty awesome. It also comes with two chains. And these chains are huge, man. Look at the size of these. Like, the length of the chain is really long. Um, it looks like this one will go around somebody's neck. And probably this one goes around somebody's wrists or ankle. So I'm actually going to use one for Leia, and I'm gonna wrap that around Jabba's neck. And that'll probably be in, well not probably, that will definitely be in episode three, coming up in the next video when I put figures all over this barge, but let's put up the chains and they go right in the back there, so I'll hook those up and show you. Looks pretty cool, they are, Probably a little too long, but they're still pretty cool. And I'm going to use one for Leia, like I said. Poor Jabba. Let's check out the backside of this jail cell. I have to stick my camera in here just to see it. And look at all the detail. And you can't even see it unless you stick a camera in there. Great detail. I love the orange on the wall. It's all like rusty. Pretty cool. So well done, Hasbro. So the big question I know everyone's thinking, what did Hammerhead do to end up in jail? What did he do so wrong that he had to pass away, turn into a skeleton? Poor guy. I have a scenario. Let me know in the comments what's yours. Here's mine. Poor Hammerhead, but such great detail. Look at that guy. So overall, extremely impressed with this sail barge. Definitely a great purchase, a great trade. So thank you again, Foo Moon Toys and Collectibles. Thank you, Mr. B, for the support, helping me get this. So yeah, this thing is awesome, incredible. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Is this something that you would love to have in your collection? Is this your holy grail? But let's check out Jabba the Hutt. Here we have the gangster of all gangsters, Jabba the Hutt. His head spins all the way around. The colors are really good. I just wish his mouth would open. I wish he came with a tongue accessory so we could recreate that scene when Leia chokes him out. That would be pretty cool. I am going to make my own tongue and put it in there and create that scene myself. But yeah, overall, looks great. Does have some minimal arm articulation. His arm moves up. He does have a little elbow bend. His wrist moves. And he can hold that microphone. It's just, uh, takes a little bit of finagling. But you can get it in there. But yeah, overall, a great looking Jabba. He does fit on the base very well. You just have to slide it forward. And then put them on, and then you can slide it back if you need to. There you go. Here's an episode one Jabba the Hut. It came with the gloob. This is a pretty cool set. Let's compare it to this Jabba and see if he would even fit in this sail barge. Would be pretty cool. At least this one's mouth opens. This one came with frogs too, which is pretty cool. But let's compare them. They definitely look different. Definitely the one that came with the barge has much more detail. But yeah, you can still use it if you need to. Not too bad. It looks 
pretty similar. Head sculpt definitely looks different, but again, that's from episode one, and this is from Return of the Jedi. All right, let's put him in the set and see how he fits. He does fit. Not perfect, but it works. All right, let's check out the special figure that comes with this set. And this is Star Wars Power of the Force with the coin, Yak Face. Unfortunately, my coin is upside down, but Yak Face looks great. Pretty cool. And I think this one comes with a cup too, right? Because you got to have a cup because... Big Fatoon can't carry them all, can he? But yeah, I love the color. I love the pink. The back art is great. Special Star Wars coin. Yak face. You can read that if you want. Pause that. Really good image of Yak face and Reese. I can't wait to put those two in this barge. Speaking of that, I think... I don't know. This card this coin is pretty cool and it would look pretty cool displayed on my shelf we have vc000 so i might take that coin put it with my other figures let's get this figure out of here let's rip him out there we go and we have yak face we're going to put him in the barge and just fooling <laughs> Did I get you? Probably not. This is uh, just a regular vintage collection. I didn't. I would never take this out of package. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. You can see the difference in the coloring of the back of the pill. So yeah, super cool. Same figure. But yeah, it looks great. I think it looks almost identical, except for the vintage collection does not come with a cup. And man, that's a bummer. It's almost tempting just to rip this out so I can get that cup. Maybe not. Wow, this thing is incredible. The detail is insane. Yeah, I am just blown away. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope I did a good job showing up close. I did my best. It's really tight to get in there and check out all the cool detail. But this thing is amazing. Definitely well worth the wait. Very excited to have it in my collection. Episode 2 complete. If you haven't checked out episode 1, check that out. The unboxing. But episode 3, I do have some wood here, some paint. We're going to work on that wall. We're going to hang it there. It's going to look pretty cool, fingers crossed. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Do all that good stuff. Remember, we are all Geek Strong. Take care, everyone.